Okay folks, here we go. We're going to uh, try and cut this piece of polystyrene now. I'm using the, uh, the big white um, uh, transformer which uh, is cranked up to its full capacity. So there's not uh, much change in the wire to look at there, but it's obviously warming up. So uh, it's just been on for a few seconds, so we'll just try and cut a slice off here now. And uh, we'll just work our way through. This is uh, 50 mil thick, this polystyrene, and I'm in. I'm doing quite a wiggly line here, um, doing the best I can, and uh, there we go. Now the advantage of this design, folks, is that I can also mount it here in my uh, Black and Decker workmate and I can start to do some accurate cutting. Now I've just set up a block of wood here as a fence, a couple of clamps on the on the table there, and I've set it at about uh, 100 mil from the wire. So that's going to change the whole ball game, so we'll see how we go with that. Okay, I've got a pretty rough looking piece of polystyrene here, but I'll hold it against the fence and we'll slide it through past the hot wire. Started off a bit wiggly there, but it's going through. Now, what we've finished up with there is uh, quite a nice straight cut compared to my freehand uh, attempt, and. Uh, from memory I said that was uh, 100 mils, well it's it's bang on 100 mils so that's pretty damn good so that's the advantage of uh, creating the design this big because it can be mounted in the in the workmate there and uh, you can get fairly accurate results now this time folks I've plugged in this little um, play art transformer it hasn't got as much grunt as the other one, so again it's on flat out, but we'll get a, um, a lower temperature, so we'll have to cut slower, but still it, it will work, and I'll show you how it goes. So we're plugged into that one now. Okay, um, still going through the 50 mil stuff, so as I say, we'll probably have to go a bit slower because the temperature won't be as high, although it's going through pretty well actually. There we go. Simple. And, you know, you can do all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. You can go in and make all sorts of weird and wonderful designs. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't mount one of these on a, on a table or a bed, if you like, permanently. It wouldn't be too hard to work out a way to do this. Um, and I believe somebody on the internet's already done that, so there we go. That's the sort of thing you can do. It fits together perfectly. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Now I've got this other supply, folks. Now this one says it's 12 volts at a thousand milliamps, so I guess that means it's an amp. Uh, but when I plug this one in, of course there's no, um, there's no control on it whatsoever what you see is what you get and the wire will actually glow red hot with this so I don't know how long the wire would last you know it's best not to get it glowing red hot because it sort of carbonizes it and becomes brittle um, I mean these wires are, uh, you'll probably have to replace them every now and again anyway but uh, yeah I think this is a bit of overkill this one so you're better off with a controllable supply uh, so there you go